When a patient enters my office and requests a consultation for facial aging, the process is very delicate and very complicated due to the fact that there are many different techniques and solutions for each patient. I try to examine each patient and divide their face into thirds. Uh, the top third uh, includes the forehead and brow. Certain procedures to correct brow ptosis or sagging includes a brow lift. Uh, a brow lift can be either done endoscopically uh, with uh, cameras, which is a minimal scar technique with the scars being hidden in the scalp, or it can be done with a larger incision. The middle third of the face includes the eyelids and the cheeks. The eyelids show aging with extra skin and extra fat, both of which can be treated with upper and lower eyelid surgery, better known as blepharoplasty. The cheeks show signs of aging with a, a deepening of the line called the nasolabial fold. This line can be treated with soft tissue fillers, such as radius, juvederm, or restylane, or it can be treated with a facelift. The lower third of the face includes the lips as well as the neck. Uh, the lips can be rejuvenated with uh, soft tissue fillers uh, or with chemical or laser peeling. As we get older, uh, the neck can be a problem for many patients. There can be extra fat, there can be extra skin, and there can be loosening of the neck muscles themselves. Uh, each of these problems has a particular solution, uh, whether it be liposuction to remove fat, whether it be a neck lift, not only to remove fat, but also to tighten the muscles and to remove extra skin, can give the patient the youthful and natural look that they request. Certainly some individuals don't need invasive procedures. These individuals uh, sometimes just require non-invasive procedures, such as Botox or soft tissue fillers. Certainly each patient uh, that I see in consultation, we will discuss these issues uh, and we will pick the best procedure to give them a natural, freshened, and youthful look.